I've been listening to shows like Linux Action Show, and you know there are a number of people in the Linux community that will choose either between KDE or GNOME, and a lot of people right now are saying that GNOME is the most productive one, and I can't really argue with that too much because it looks nice, it works well, it's been designed to work relatively well for most people's workflow. KDE, on the other hand, back when GNOME was concentrating on major configurability, they decided, well, hey, we're getting dinged by people for not being configurable. We'll be configurable now. And they've just kind of been going down that rabbit hole ever since. And since Plasma 5 desktop is just about ready, as is KDE 5, I thought I'd take a minute and just show how I set it up for me. So I've taken this back to the default breeze look and feel, and I've taken it back to the default panel here. Let me make sure I'm actually recording audio. Yes, and I'm recording video at 15 frames a second. So this might go a little slow, but hopefully not too slow. Okay, so I'm going to click on this little hamburger menu down here, and that will give me this. I'm going to move this panel to the top of the screen. And when I hover over the task manager, I have this handy little thing that has, among other things, an X. And when I click on that X, that removes it. And it's telling me that it has removed it. Thank you very much. And I'm going to click on the X there. Now, instead of adding the widget that I want to add, I'm going to add a spacer. And I'm going to hover, grab hold of that spacer, and I'm just going to drag it until... Well, there we are. Oh, I lost it. Now I'm doing this without any kind of rehearsal, so there we go. And I'm going to call this panel done. Now I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say Add Panel. I'm going to do an empty panel. And it's going to give me a panel here on the side. I'm going to click on the hamburger menu on this side. And I'm going to click on Width, make this a little larger. I'm going to click on Maximize Panel, because it appears to be just a little bit too large. I'm also going to move this once it'll let me. Like I say, it's running slow before video and video at the same time. And that's a little too small. We'll move this down. Move this down. Okay, now I'm going to click on Add Widgets. And the widget I'm looking for is the icon only task manager. I'm just going to double click on that. And boom! I've got two widgets up here already. I'm going to click on that. Now when I click on this, that's going to bring the widget back up. Now let's say I want this to come up every time, no matter what, I want it to stay on here. I can right click on that and there's a menu option that says show a launcher when not running. Click on that and when I close the app, it'll just come back up. Now at this point, I could right click on the desktop. and put lock widgets. And right here, I've got something that is about 95% what I want it to be. Because as you see, it's got the default breeze look. On GTK2 and in GTK3, I have a theme that looks like breeze, called Breezy. And really, to tell you the truth right now, this is this is good enough. 
if, however, I decided, well, these panels are a little bit, bit too bright, I can go to workspace theme, click on desktop theme, and choose breeze dark. And that right there, I think, is as far as I'm going to go with it. So there you have it. Right there. Even with all the waffling I did, that didn't take any time at all to get something set up that looked... Mm, this this is probably very similar to what an Ubuntu or GNOME 3 user would be expecting, I'd say. And the rest would probably take just a, a few more minutes of tweaking if you really wanted to. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps someone.